Hello and welcome back. My name's Liam from The Basic Barista and today we're going to be talking about the Varia VS3 coffee grinder. Now I've been using this forever and we actually did an unboxing of this grinder as soon as we got it. However, I just realized that I've never actually done a full on review. So today we're going to be looking at the specs of this grinder, um, do a bit of a comparison in grind size and see what we can get as well as talk about some of its features and really what this grinder does well and what it doesn't do well. The Varia VS3 has 38 millimeter conical burrs. They're stainless steel and they come stock standard in the grinder. However, you do have the option to upgrade into a couple different types of burrs that are available. Some that are more suited towards espresso, others are more suited towards filter grinding. And then there's also another burr that's really good for both. So. At the moment, we currently retail the Vario VS3 grinder by itself with the stock standard burrs. And while we did used to have the replacement burrs available, we don't at the moment. Complaint with this grinder, seeing as it's a stepless grinder, some people have experienced slippage. And what that is, is when your grind size is adjusting while you're grinding. Now that would be really, really bad. When you're grinding, you wanna have the exact same grind size. Now, my experience has been that I have not seen any slippage. My grind is actually really good and impressed me so far. So that hasn't been a huge problem at all for me. And in fact, I actually prefer the stepless grinders over the stepped grinders as I have an unlimited amount of different grind sizes that I can choose from and I can be as particular as I want to. I'm not limited by the stepped grind size. I have full spectrum. Now, this grinder at the moment, it can be used for both filter grinding and espresso grinding. And the best thing about it, for me, someone who loves RDT, you can use RDT for this grinder. Now I've done a whole other video on RDT, go check it out. I've done an article where we talk more about what Ross Droplet technique is, so go check that out as well. Links will be in the description. Now this grinder, it actually comes with an RDT bottle, which I think we're gonna see more of in this market. And the reason why is RDT is a great way for mess-free grinding. All of that static that usually holds grinds inside a grinder, completely removed, and you get everything that you put out. So besides the grinder burrs and the grind size adjustment that we spoke about, I wanna quickly talk about the bellows. Here we've got the bellows. All it is is a piece of flexible rubber or silicon that's placed on top of the grinder and you push it just like that. And it forces air through the grinder and pushes any remaining grounds out. Now, this grinder is actually angled. So it's actually quite cleverly designed this way. So when you put your coffee in, it feeds completely through, grounds up, and then is dispensed into the grounds catch, which is magnetic. So we love that. One thing to note about having a grinder on an angle is that sometimes there's coffee that gets stuck in this little hopper. All that means is just give it a little push and it will fix that. So if you notice that your dose is a little bit short, it's not a retention problem, it's just a hopper retention problem, I guess you could say. And I have found that that usually happens when I'm using RDT and I've got a little bit of that moisture on the burrs and they're a little bit stickier than they would be if they were dry. Now the lid is also magnetic and it can be used um, instead of the bellows and you'll feel that it just snaps on securely. It's actually really strong. So I really like the design of this, having the option to use the lid or the bellows. Now, one thing that I don't understand about this grinder is this color adjustment piece. I really don't get it. I don't really use it. I keep it on only because it looks good. Um, all it is, is it's four magnets on the grinder and four magnets on the collar um, and one of these has a little arrow indicator. So I always just keep it in the same spot as I know that that's the zero point. Uh, with this collar, I just don't really get it. Um, I just keep it in the same spot. The way that I could see you using this is if you're constantly going back and forth between an espresso grind size and a pour over grind size, I would just move this to indicate to myself, hey, we're on a filter grind size and then back when we're on espresso. But yeah, that's just one use, I guess. Now you can take apart this grinder. All you do is remove this. You go all the way coarse. This collar will lift all the way up. Um, then you've got a little included tool that you can adjust and remove the inner burr. Um, and you can get a really good clean on that as well. Now I love grinders that are super 
simple, minimalistic, and easy to use. That's why I'm such a big fan of the Commandante grinder. It isn't the most minimal looking grinder, but it really is simple, easy to use, and you get a really good product out of it. With the Varia, it has two big components to it. The grind size adjustment, and then the power button. That's it. Everything else is internalized. You don't have to worry about any clicking or any hidden features. It's super simple, straightforward, easy design. You press it once. It grinds, it's on. As soon as you've finished grinding, you press it again. It doesn't have an auto off feature, which I would have liked to see. However, I know some people aren't too big a fan of that. So let's grind some coffee. Now I've been using the 10th click as my pour over uh, grind size. Very quiet as well. We've just got 20 grams of coffee and for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not gonna use RDT. Also, it might be worth mentioning that this grinder has a 30 gram capacity at the top. So with 20 grams, we've got another 10 to spare. And let's grind some coffee. Turn it off, smells delicious. Now, of course I had to use a super chaffy coffee and there you have it. So this is the current grind size that I'm using for pour over. It's relatively coarse and I pretty much dial in my coffee from this point. Now to use the bellows, all you have to do is just give it a quick tap. For an espresso grinder, I found that when grinding with coffee, it's super fluffy grounds. Um, I use it on pretty much all of my espresso shots with the ARAM and I've had really fantastic results. Now the price point of the Vario VS3 is around $600, which is pretty expensive and it's quite heavy. Um, so that does add to the shipping costs. And however, that's in Australian dollars. So if you're interested in this grinder, you can always check out our website. We've also done a review article on this grinder worth checking out. If you've got any questions in particular about this grinder, you can always leave us a comment down below and we'll get to it as soon as possible. I've absolutely loved using this grinder. I use it for pretty much every espresso shot that I pull here. And I have also been using it as my primary grinder for whenever I'm too lazy to use my Commandante. I think it's a fantastic option for at home brewers. That's my take on the Vario VS3. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. Have a great day and happy brewing.